Hi, I'm Laura Nelkin. I'm a knitwear designer. I live in upstate New York in the Finger Lakes region. And sometimes I like to make knots in my knitting. Have you ever heard of a magic knot? Well, if you don't like weaving in ends, this might be a great technique for you. You can use magic knots when you want to connect two different strands of yarn or when you run out of yarn and want to connect a second ball. There are a few things that you have to do to make sure that your magic knot is success successful. One is that you don't want to use slippery yarn and the best thing for you to do is test your magic knot before you go to use it in a project. So let's jump right in and I'll show you how to make a magic knot and then I will teach you how to test it. All right, I've got two strands of yarn here and you can see that I've got the working ball on one strand going to the right and the working ball from the other strand going to the left. And now I'm going to start with one strand, it doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to go underneath the other strand and then over and then through that hole right there and then pull that tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side where I'm going to go under and then I'm going to come around and I'm going to go over and then I'm going to go underneath and then let me just bring my hand over here and then pull that tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide those two knots towards each other by pulling away on each end of the yarn. And then finally, I'll go in with some very sharp scissors and cut right there and right there to get rid of those two tails. And then the last test is to really just test this knot and make sure that you're pulling tightly to make sure that your knot is going to hold. If you're using slippery yarn, you might find that your yarn becomes undone. And if that happens, you should go ahead and weave in ends instead of using a magic knot. But with many fibers, especially fibers that have a little bit of grip to them, you will find that this magic knot will join your two ends of yarn together perfectly. And then you won't have any ends to weave in at the end of your project. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love if you want to subscribe to my channel. You will get notifications when I have other tutorials that come up, when I go live to share my knitting with you, and sometimes when I have a new design that's releasing. I love sharing knitting tips with you. Thanks so much for watching. Happy knitting! <laughs>